the instrument cockpit check is just like reading a book. It's top to bottom, left to right. So we work from one section, go top bottom, left right, to another section, work top bottom, left right. So the first thing that we check is our magnetic compass. It should be full of fluid, which this one is, you know, just weird, it's a simulator. It should be full of fluid, no cracks, no leaks, and no bubbles, because if there were bubbles, that would signify that there was a leak. And then we're gonna compare our headings. So that All one right, says sure about, yeah, yeah, 300, 300. So they're good to go. If that's a little bit off, then that's fine. Right. If it's more than 10 degrees off, then we probably want to down the airplane and have them fix it. They'll just realign the compass outside. All right. Um, work to here. So left to right through these instruments. Make sure the airspeed reads zero. We're not moving. Attitude indicator is level. Slip skid should be zero. Rate of turn shouldn't show a turn in either direction since we're not turning. Yeah. Altimeters. So we have to make sure that these read within 75 feet of our known elevation. So if we're about right here, then we should be close to about 759, right? Yes. So that doesn't have that doesn't work, right? Yes. Probably the reason not. is because we have the wrong altimeter setting in there. So is that within 75 feet of our known altitude? It is. It is perfect. So that passes. So we did left to right airspeed, slip skid, rate of turn, attitude, altimeter, the VSI. We're not climbing or descending. Should read zero. Cool. Awesome. From there, we're gonna go down to our HSI. Heading should appear. You know, it should be complete there. It's going to be. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we have to check both of our VOR receivers. So there's a few different ways to do that. You can use a VOR receiver checkpoint, which would be listed in the back of the AFD. You can use a VOR, uh, sorry, a VOT, which stands for a VOR test facility. Um, and if you had one, it would be listed in the AFD. So, so since there's no VOT, we're gonna do a dual VOR check. So put 112.8 in both of the NAVs. I think it was just 0.8. It's 112.80. 1, 1, ground. A lot of times, if you're on the ground, you'll the VR will be blocked by like trees or buildings or anything, and we might yeah. not be able to receive it. All right. Which looks like it's not working right now. Um, so let me show you what we would do instead. Let me see. On a dual VOR check, they have to center within plus or minus four degrees of each other in order for it to pass. All right. From that point, we would do like check that the needle swings freely with ten swings freely with ten degrees of deflection on both sides, and then we would make sure that the flag flips on the middle here. Um, I'll show you that later in the debrief. All right. We'll talk about that. Cool. We check and make sure we have our desired bearing pointers up. For example, um, we'll put one one two back at eight back in there just so it comes on in the air you'll be able to see what those do. And also make sure your outside air temperature is functioning because if we're flying in the clouds, we wanna know if we're gonna to turn to a popsicle or not, right? Yeah. Cool. I think we have to make sure we have a clock with seconds feature for 91205, right? So ensure that's there. We also have this timer that we'll use pretty frequently. So you can check that, you don't have to. But just to go over this screen again, we went mag compass, comms and navs, airspeed attitude, rate of turn, slip skid, altimeter, VSI, we would do a dual VOR or a VOT check. Then we checked our OAT, bearing pointers, transponder, time. Okay. So it's pretty much just everything on that screen since it's still so important. That's in the green. Then we're gonna do our MFD checks. So how the MFD works is this big knob controls the pages inside the MFD. And well, I call these like the chapters. And then the small knob would control the pages in the chapter. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go two clicks over to the auxiliary chapter okay. and then down to the GPS status. So these are all of our GPS signals that we're receiving right now. We would make sure that the GPS solution says 3D differential nav and then also that the SBOS is active. We have more than six, well actually more than five satellites on GPS 1 and GPS 2 and when you click SBOS you can make sure that that is selected on. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. From there, go down one more. This is our system setup page as it said right there. So there's three things that we're gonna check on here. First, our time format should be in UTC. Next thing is this audio alert. Make sure that's in uh, female, because if it's in male, it's a really, really disgusting voice that comes over your headset, and I will smack you if it's in male. Make sure this is in auto, because depending on what GPS procedure we're using, it's a different sensitivity required legally for each different one. So if it's in auto, it'll ensure that all of happens automatically. You're gonna go down to the system status page. This shows all of our LRUs and all of our equipment. So you're gonna come down, 
make sure you have all green check marks. And in the airplane, you're gonna press this enunciator test button, and it's gonna light up all of the lights so we ensure those are working. It doesn't work in the sim, I know, great. And then, say you forgot to check the navigation database on that main page. This is where you can check it besides that. So here's your navigation. It's effective here. It's already expired, but we, in the airplane it wouldn't be expired, for example. Cool, that's all of your MFD checks. From that point on, then we work down here. Airspeed should be zero. Match this to your um, attitude indicator right there. Make sure this is set and it reads within 75 feet of your known elevation, so 800. Perfect. And then from pre-flight, the flaps will have been down. So that's the last thing on the before taxi checklist. Yeah. So we're just incorporating this. You'll just identify and verify the flaps. You'll bring them up. So that's the instrument cockpit check, except the taxi check. We'll go over that. Match hit 55, you'll say rotate. Rotate. Start pulling back to about 10 degrees nose up. 